Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we created a basin for petroleum and another basin for petroleum that we are using to cool down as much as possible. So we have something uh, to cool things and all this is geared towards the next generation of our rocket. So uh, without further ado, let's get rid of this uh, uh, steam engine and uh, this means we do not need this pipe. So we can get rid of that. Uh, and that went. And what we probably will need to do is uh, have a cooling loop in here so that we cool down the steam uh, so that we actually get water because for the next stage we need um, a petroleum engine. It's clear, but we also need uh, a liquid tank for the petroleum and solid oxidized tank. And that means um, we need to create oxygen out of water that we then can turn into oxalite. So this setup is the plan for today and um, I think we can turn this pump on this uh, is the cooling loop or maybe not because um, then we have a bit of a, a backlog up here and we want to, to fill things in. So what we also need is probably here on this side. Let's just get rid of everything here. Because we need to get um, cooling from this side over to here. Let's do it. And then maybe 
out a bit on this side because we need um, some way to turn the water into oxygen. down a bit before we place a pump here uh, and then we also have to think about the setup up there. Some progress have been made and some mistakes as well because we need to have these ones here on top because if they are down below they will be blocked. Uh, which also feels uh, means we can only fill up up to this level but i think now i can turn this on and if the petroleum cools down enough uh, the brine and water in here should actually um, turn into into ice uh, and get rid of this um, uh, nasty thing here and from down below we do not get a constant flow so I guess that that works out and the petroleum here is still in the positive we want to have it near the freezing point. So um, we will have to cool down quite a bit. This requires quite a bit of power. So this is going, this is going all nice. And then on here we will have uh, uh, an electrolyzer setup. Um, let's add the pumps first. Um, one here, one here, one here. And then let's have the peak down here. We have metal wire there. Um, three. And then there. And door, door, door. Then This one, and then we have the last pump in here. And so, and everything else needs to be dug out. have and 
add that out there. And that out here. That should be okay. Um, we need power, of course. So... How much do I have on here? Here we have the, uh, the rocket rebuilt and we need this much in here just to get to the next uh, outer uh, planets because we need a few more uh, research items uh, so that we can uh, finish up the research. Water in here is heating up. It's uh, at 50 degrees. Well flip. And then um, on this side, we need a probably refinement. light refinery um, so let's put that here Because the thing here is, ooh, uh, can I fit in this and also need this, right? shall have this goes there because we shall over pressurize this room and that's why if we produce the oxalite it cannot evaporate because the pressure is too high mm. Maybe um, let's go out a bit further so we have a bit more room to maneuver. Should we need it? Right? 
right. Um, and I would assume we need power. Let's do it like that. Then from here, we can build a rail to there. So that it's as optimal as, as possible. Set up up here is complete. And now we are filling uh, petroleum in here. So maybe it's also time to turn on the uh, oxalizer. And we do have a rail going all the way to here. And then we have this uh, module on priority nine so that the duplicants should come along very fast to put it in there unfortunately we will lose some uh, of the oxalite on the way uh, but I think this setup we are pretty good so far so uh, let's wait until uh, the rocket is filled up and then we can go on another space mission. Once again, we have assigned an astronaut, so let's break disk entry. And I also needed one down here, but this one I can retract. So that's good. Then let's open here and we will go to the next one and as you can see we can just reach uh, these two so let's wait for the gates to open launch the rocket and then we will i think skip ahead um, to the return is back oh, let's close up here uh, we got some uh, data banks that's good let's retract here And that means uh, 
the rocket is being refilled, resupplied. Um, and that's basically it for today. We can do more research and that should give us the uh, liquid oxidizer tank and the hydrogen engine but we also need the solid cargo because we need to bring back uh, materials from outer space um, so that we can actually create liquid oxygen until that point we will have to do with oxidizer tank but i think we are not too far off but that's definitely something for a future episode so hope you enjoyed this one and join me next time until then goodbye